Chicago State being the only majority black institution in the region um, serves a really, really important role. You know, I'm connected to Chicago State in a lot of different ways, right? But, you know, born and raised right here on the south side of Chicago and the Jeffrey Mountain community, which is literally, you know, almost adjacent to the school. Um, I grew up on this campus, right? Through camps, sports played a big role in my life. Um, so I was constantly on the campus at the, at the arenas playing with the with older guys. Always a big part of, of my childhood growing up, just being from this part of the city. Just having, you know, gone to school on the East Coast, moved to Texas for a little while um, where I met my wife and, and really started my family. Chicago State just kind of sung out to me as what could be an anchor that could make that part of the city that I care about so much uh, better. You know, Jarrell and I, we share a devotion to our people, community, and education. Growing up in the South, I really recognize the results of hundreds of years of oppression, inequality, and inequity. And growing up, my parents really instilled in me the importance of education and, you know, told me as a minority how important it was going to be for me to work 10 times harder. In my experience of over a decade working in higher education, I've personally seen the underrepresentation of African Americans and most particularly African American males in higher education in colleges and universities. So it's through our efforts that we really want to hone in our commitment to our Parker Family Endowment to help create an opportunity that is accessible to our African American community. You know, we decided to most specifically focus on African American males because in our experience, his own personal experience of being in college and my personal experience in working in higher education, we did notice a huge disparity in the amount of African American males in colleges and universities. Hopefully you can make school not a burden, right, in addition to whatever else this person is carrying. If he has to work a job in the daytime and go to school at night and the Parker Family Endowment can help him pay for school, then it has served its purpose, right? It's, it's not for uh, just one particular and one particular situation and convenience. I think that's what we've learned. And it goes far beyond just you know, giving a one-time gift. We really wanted to create a legacy that would help move our community and our people forward. Thank you.